With only one week till impact, what happens from now on is crucial. To build their strength, flamingos need to eat. And surprisingly enough, the lurid green waters are chock full of bacteria, rich in essential nutrients. These birds feed in an extraordinary way, gulping water then pumping it out through strainers inside their bills, which sieve out the bacteria at an incredible rate of 20 billfuls a second. And to avoid dipping their heads in the caustic water, flamingos feed with their bills upside down. The enlarged upper bill acts as a float to keep the bird's head near the surface in the super-rich scum. Because the food is microscopic, the flamingos have to suck up at least four gallons of water a day to get enough to eat. This takes hours and hours of feeding. They also need to avoid burning too many calories. Feeding while swimming in deep water, swinging your head like this, uses a lot of energy. Feeding while standing is a lot less effort. And closer to shore, where the wind has blown the scum, there's a much higher concentration of food. But standing in the shallows with your head down is a very, very risky position to be in. Now, hunger has driven the fish eagle to change the habits of a lifetime and hunt birds instead of fish. Flamingos are gawky, awkward birds with no real means of self-defense. Their natural response to danger is to get away fast. So the minute they're threatened, they run for takeoff. For the fish eagle, it's crucial not to waste energy in a long chase. It must be a quick kill. That looked easy, but the hard part is working out how to deal with the corpse. Compared with catching fish, which weigh ounces, dragging off a four pound flamingo while trying to balance on soft, squishy mud is impossible. So, hungry or not, the eagle has to abandon its feast and think again. <laughs> 